I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Well, we're going to be knife throwing again today, as you can see by this right back here. And uh, what we're going to be throwing are some extremely lightweight knives. They're called micro flights and they're put out by cold steel. And I'm not a big one on the real lightweight ones like this. I think these only weigh about like three ounces. Uh, they're real good for close type throwing, like right here, where you got it. You can see what happens. They bounce. And that's what I wanted you to see. See how they bounce on this thing? And that can really fly back and hit you. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to try to stick this right here, come up here. We're at the what is it? Seven foot line, I guess, right here. Now, see this? Now I'm trying to stick these. Okay, all three of those were stuck. And as I said, you can see what happens with those bouncing. They ricochet and they'll come right back at you, and those lightweight ones will get you. I was doing that with some kunais, and I put one right into my leg. Talk about a bee sting hurting? That hurts because it is sharp pointed, it's sharp edges, and it let me have it. Same thing could happen with those, just not quite as bad. Now, I was throwing them as a half spin up here, like I said, at 7 feet. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to 10. Now, to me, these are not a long distance knife. Um, let me get them. Yeah, they start pretty good. I got them up to about here. Yeah, it stuck real good on that one. Like I said, that's... Well, you're throwing darts. Darts aren't much further than that. So let's go back here to the 10 Now we're 10 feet, and, and you're setting right at 10 feet. In fact, and we're going to throw these at full spin. Oh, I hit the other knife. You can see that came clear back here to 10 feet on that one. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. I'll try not to hit the other knife there. Okay, I'm doing okay. But uh, that showed you how far back it came. I picked that thing up. Now we're going to go back to 13 feet and just see what will happen. Zoom in a little bit closer on this. Okay, I got them all in there. But I'll tell you this, I had to throw them a lot harder. And with my bad shoulder and collarbone, that was a little tough. We're going to go back to 16 feet and just see what happens from there. I don't know about this one. Okay, I got two out of the three stuck. And I'll show you the difference in the way that I did this. So I'm going to show you the difference in the way that I held these and threw them. Uh, up here, when I first did those half spins, I had a hold of them right down here like this. So that I'd throw it this way and then just go half spin, stick her in. Back here at 10 feet, where you're setting, I took them and I moved them clear down here. I held them way down here. This is where I've told you before about that, using the hole. And that's what I'm doing. I'm using the hole. And I'm putting my thumb right on that where I can feel it and throwing them that way. At 13 feet, I moved them up to right here. And I held them just like this and threw it. At 16 feet, I reversed it like this. Still using this, but the opposite end. I'm throwing it with the blade in my hand. This is where you got to look out. If you keep this good and sharp, this is where you can stick yourself or cut yourself if you're sharpening these edges. These edges aren't sharpened, and I don't really recommend that. I recommend a sharp point more than anything. But again, at 16 feet, that's what I did down here. So, you know, I was able to do it, but the further I moved back, the harder I had to throw these and make sure that I had the grip right. So again, to me, 13 feet is just about the max on these, and I would say 10 feet is, you know, just about good. This is seven where I'm at here. And uh, that's just my take on these. Like I said, very lightweight. All your knives that are lightweight. In fact, if I was going to go with any sort of a micro 
uh, knife, which is always lightweight, I would go with these cold steel. Uh, if somebody developed one that was a little bit heavier, that would be nice. Uh, you know, something I'd like to see is a stork, an actual mini flight type stork. And you all know my take on the stork, the Lafouk stork is my favorite throwing knife over all of them. Uh, next would be a cold steel actually because cold steel has got a lot of different types of designs that I like and they stick good, they throw good and no I'm not sponsored by cold steel. But uh, they have got a pretty nice deal there. So until next time, shoot safe, or in this case throw safe, and have a great day of planking. All three at one time. Something you can do with a lighter knife like that. <laughs>